Browner, I'm so sorry to interrupt, but I wanted to make you aware. I believe Jason Ventro was lighting up a glass pipe earlier. Mr. Ventro? Yes, sir. I'm sorry. Yes, I had to unmute my phone. <clears throat> what were you smoking? Smoking? Excuse me? Yeah, we... You believe he was lighting up a glass pipe just now? Not just Do now, we? approximately 15 minutes ago. A glass pipe? The coordinator believes she saw Ventro in the virtual court smoking something from a glass pipe while he waited for his case to be called. Ventro has an explanation. No, Your Honor, I was not lighting no glass pipe. I was picking bumps on my face in the mirror. <laughs> Well, I'll tell you what, we'll go back and look at it. Okay, yes, please do. <laughs> All right, we'll go back and take a look at that. Please yeah. do. <laughs> the coordinator checks the footage before the court considers further action. After Ventro logs in, He's seen holding what looks like a clear purple pen in his hand. He moves to the bathroom and places his phone on the counter, facing up. At first, it's unclear what's happening. Ventro's holding the pen up to his face. But then it becomes apparent that he is, in his own words, picking bumps. When Judge Simpson calls Ventro's case a few minutes later, court calls case people versus Jason Ventro, the judicial coordinator sets the record straight. Ms. Chang, you wanted to say something to the court? Judge, I apologize. I was mistaken. It was his camera angle. All right, thank you. All right, thank you. We reviewed it. That's why we review it. Thank you, Your Honor. 